Welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm going to be breaking down a super melodic R&B beat for Tory Lanez, maybe Drake too. I was super inspired by Tory Lanez's new song, Taken Care. I love the melodies on that song. I think the drums are super unique and bouncy. So yeah, let's get straight into it. The sample for the new Tory song is very simple. To me, it just sounds like a watered down synth and then some vocal chops as well. So first of all, I went into Nami's one shot kit and I found this ambient synthy kind of sound. In the Tory song as well, you can hear the sample kind of pulsing in and out and I wanted to replicate that. So to do that, I started off by reversing the one shot. I messed around with the length in the sample start so I got it exactly where I wanted it to be. Then I played out these very simple chords on the piano. First chord is D minor 7, then it's D sharp major 7, then it's a G minor 7 but I've just brought the top two notes down as you can see. And finally it's an F major chord but I've brought the C down an octave and that sounds like this. As you can see, I've made the chords hit four times in every bar. This is gonna give that pulsing effect that I mentioned earlier. So to start with, I just cut the low end out. Then I added an intensity reverb. It's the infinity preset, which comes on as soon as you open it up. I felt like the sound was way too bright. So I added a good Hertz low high to cut some of the high end off. Finally, I did actually add a shaper box, but I put the mix 50% so it's not doing too much. It's just filtering out some of the high end frequencies again to keep it nice and underwater and low. So now it sounds like this. As you can hear, it kind of gives it a choppy feeling, almost like it's from an actual sample. After that, I wanted to add some texture and also get a little bit of bounce going. So I found this perk loop from XY and just dropped it in and it sounded really good as it is. Then I added another texture, which is just this rain noise from Nami's kit. final melodic element that I added is this vocal chop. I found it from Splice, I just chopped certain parts that I liked and this is what it sounds like without any effects on. So to process it, I started with a bandpass EQ, cutting high end and low end out. After that, I added a half time on the quarter preset. I also automated this so it's dropped out a little bit at certain points. I'll show you that when I play it in a second. A medium sized reverb just to give it a bit of space and a pretty heavy Valhalla delay just to fill out more space as well because obviously there's only the synth and the vocal chop. As you can see, the first four bars has the half time fully on then it comes off a bit, you'll hear the difference. When the half time comes off a bit, it adds more energy. So we'll use that as kind of like a hook section. So next we're moving on to the drums. The Tory Lane song has a really unique bounce. It kind of mixes almost boom bappy swing with some modern sounds. But first things first, I started off with this snare. Next is this hi-hat. You can see with the hi-hat, I've gone for a more old school acoustic kind of sound. I think when you mix old and new sounds, it can sound really interesting. Next is another hi-hat. Now with that hi-hat, I shifted it really far back. As you can hear, it's kind of really off the grid. That just really helps with a natural live feeling kind of swing. After that, I did another hi-hat. This one's more modern. It has some rolls and stuff. After that is a kick. I wanted to add some extra bounce with the kick. So as you can see, I've changed the velocities and stuff. I've also panned a few of them. And that sounds like this. I 
And finally is an 808, the very subby 808 is quite long as well. I'm actually going to try and add a couple more things. I feel like the hook just needs something else. I think first I'm going to try and find a little flute hit in Nami's kit. That's cool. I'm just going to add a massive reverb to it and a really big delay as well. That just helps set off the hook a little bit, I think. Let's add a counter melody as well. Obviously you guys know I always preach about simple beats. As long as you have a really catchy chord progression, really good sound selection, and a good bounce with the drums, you don't need to add loads of extra things. At the end of the day, very quickly, the artist will know whether they want to jump on it or not. If they can come up with some good melodies over the top of it, or come up with a cool flow from the drum bounce. In terms of the structuring for this one, I started off with a four bar intro. This is just the synth and the textural elements. Then all the drums come in, but I've kept the half time on the vocals, so it's a bit more low down. Maybe this is like a pre-hook. And then after that, the half time comes off, the vocals are a bit more bright this would be a hook section for the verse all i've done is taken out the vocals i feel like that will signify to the artist that okay this is the verse i'm also going to change the structure a little bit i want to take out some of the drums in the pre-hook so let's take out the hi-hat let's take out the snare let's take out all the drums actually no let's leave the kick take out that hi-hat leave the kick and 808 okay so that's today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did don't forget to leave a like and a comment and let me know what you want to see next and i'll see you in the next one